this is the most common way people first come to the United States. My name is John Lowett, and today we're going to talk about the B1, B2 combo visa that is issued by consulates around the world. The B1, B2 visa combination allows a person to come to the United States on behalf of their business abroad to negotiate contracts, to look for new markets, to do business research, to attend uh, business-related meetings, and other activities other than through employment. Those activities that I just described are B1 activities. The B2 visa, on the other hand, is a tourist visa and it's for a visitor for pleasure. Now, pleasure is defined in the Immigration and Nationality Act, but common examples of visitors for pleasure are coming to visit relatives in the United States, going to Disneyland, coming for ski season, uh, or any other activity that's recreational and does not involve employment at all. There are some restrictions on these visas. First, U.S. immigration law imposes a, an assumption that every person who wants to come to the U.S. wants a green card. Now, in order to get a B visa, whether it's a B1 or a B2, you have to be able to prove to the consulate that you're not going to immigrate to the United States. And the way you prove that is by showing enough ties to your home country that the consular officer is convinced that you will return after your B visit to the United States. This could include submitting copies of bank accounts, deeds for homes, letters from employers who are expecting you to report back to work at a particular time, uh, proof that you're enrolled in a university and that you have to report back at the beginning of classes, proof that your business in uh, your country is absolutely necessary for you to be there to run it. There's no end to the proof, but anything that you have that would suggest you're going to come back without trying to stay in the United States is appropriate when you apply for a B visa. In many cases, the B visa is denied because there's not enough proof that you're going to return. In fact, that's the most common reason for the denial of the B visa is that you have not met the burden of proof. Some people have an almost impossible task of meeting the burden of proof that they're going to return. For example, single people in their 20s who don't have money in the bank, who live with their parents, and are from countries where there is little opportunity for them in the employment market, may never be able to qualify for a B visa. So it's very important that you understand that half of the process of applying for the B visa is submitting the evidence to prove that you're going to return. Now, if you are, have the B1, B2 visa, when you come to the United States, you have to meet with a CBP officer at the port of entry. And depending on what you tell the CBP officer, you will be admitted either as a B1, a visitor for business, or a B2. So if your activities involve you're coming on behalf of your business abroad or your employer abroad, that will be a B1. If you're coming strictly for social visits and for pleasure, that will be a B2 entry. The B1 visa is generally, the B1 entry is generally for 90 days and you can apply for an extension. And the B2 entry is generally um, for six months. These visas are very valuable if you're considering going to school in the United States, for example, one use of the B-2 visa is to look for an appropriate college or university that you want to attend. There is no end to the B possibilities. It just depends on your particular situation. So you'll have to explain at the consulate exactly what you're coming to do. And they generally issue the, the combo visa automatically. And then when you get to the United States, you'll have to tell them the same reason you told at the consulate as to why you're coming to the United States. The visas are, depending on the what's called the reciprocity schedule, for some countries the visas are issued only for a year, but for most countries in the world, these visas are usually for 10 years and are multiple entry visas. So once you get the visa, you may not have to go back to the consulate for 10 years if all of your activities are confined to either B1 or B2 activities. This is the most common way people first come to the United States. There's nothing wrong with coming to the United States to look for job opportunities, so long as you're able to convince the consulate that you're not going to stay in the United States to pursue the job uh, opportunity, 
but that you're going to return to your country. And then at some point in the future, uh, per perhaps an employer would file a petition for you to come over and work. If you comply with the B rules, you're likely to get another B visa when the first one runs out. There are people that maintain B visas through their entire adult life. The more often you come and return within the time frame that the visa allows or your, or your authorized stay allows, the more likely it is that you'll be able to get extensions in the future because you build up a good history of proving that you obey the rules when you come to the United States and use your B visa. The B visa can be a launching ground for many other different kinds of visas that are not part of this discussion today, but you can use B visas to do many different activities in the United States. It's a very wide-ranging visa, and that's why it's the most common visa of all. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you would like to apply for a visa or permanent residency or U.S. citizenship, please contact my office. Keep in touch for updates and more information on new programs and refinements of existing programs. Our clients are in every corner of the world and in all corners of the United States. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. If you wish to go further beyond this presentation, please contact us. If you would like updates and more information, please follow us online through our social media accounts as well as our webpage. We are here to help you. Our clients are from all corners of the United States and all corners of the world.